What is going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Toronto Raptors versus Indiana Pacers NBA matchup going down Wednesday, February 14th, 2024. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games that I love, including my daily $19 best bet, make sure that you head on over to PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. But let's get to this one between the Toronto Raptors and the Indiana Pacers. The Toronto Raptors coming into this one with a record of 19 and 35 on the year, 25 and 29 against the number this season, ending up with a 122 to 99 loss at the hands of the San Antonio Spurs in their last matchup, potentially a new low for this Raptors team. Meanwhile, the Indiana Pacers coming in off a 111 102 loss to the Charlotte Hornets on the road as 10 point home, uh, road favorites to fall to 30 and 26 on the year, 29, 23 and three against the number this season. Now the concern for Indiana is the injury report. As you know, we do see uh, James Johnson and Jalen Smith both both listed as out for this game. Benny Matherin and uh, Tyrese Halliburton both listed as questionable. So that's something that you're going to want to try to keep an eye on here. Um, we'll hopefully be able to give you a little bit more of a concrete update uh, on our morning show on Wednesday. But for right now, like I said, I'm seeing those guys listed as questionable. And it you know, doesn't give you the, the, the best feeling about, uh, about that for Indiana. Those guys are obviously key to a lot of the success for the uh, the Indiana Pacers as well. Um, but, I mean, it's still a, a solid Indiana team that was getting by, getting through life without uh, Tyrese Halliburton. It wasn't always easy, but they were able to do it. And mostly they were able to do it against teams like the Toronto Raptors, who, for my money, have been one of the most disappointing teams in the NBA this season. You know, I'll tell you this, is, I'm, you know, I'm in this market. I've, I've watched this team. And if you've heard, if you watched our morning show, you know that I don't back this Toronto Raptors team often for much of anything, mainly because I just feel that, that the moves that they've made are solid moves, you know, bringing in guys like RJ Barrett, Emmanuel quickly, Kelly Olenek, Koche Agbaji, but it just feels like they're building a core around Scotty Barnes for the future, not for right now. And you can kind of see it. The team sitting at 19 and 35 and, you know, just preparing to, to probably, you know, get another high draft pick in the lottery. And, um, you know, I, I just, I can't get behind this Toronto Raptors team. It used to be that at least they could win their games at home. They had one of the better home court advantages in the NBA that this, this, this market is electric. This fans love this team, but now there's team, there's, there's fans that are starting to get frustrated with this team as well. Said 11 and 15 straight up at home this season. And I'll tell you, it was just not a good look losing to a 10 win San Antonio team, you know, by 23 points and just being absolutely demolished in that game. And uh, while Indiana's had some road issues this season in terms of the de uh, defending on that end of the floor, they've sort of corrected those issues. They've definitely improved those issues um, in the start of, since, since the start of 2024 and the, since the calendar year turned. And I think just heading into the All Star break, I think uh, the Pacers want to carry as much momentum in as they possibly can. I'm going to go with the Indiana Pacers in this one. Like I said, I'm not. I haven't backed the Raptors for much of anything. I'm probably not going to start now. Give me uh, Indiana laying the points, and that's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. While you're at Pick Dogs, check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business. And tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. And while you're at our YouTube channel, make sure you have notifications turned on so you can be the first to be in the know when the newest content drops here at Pick Dogs. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.